Alright everyone, it is finally time. I'm going to revisit the Terraria boss tier list. Now, the first video, the first tier list video, it's objectively one of my worst videos. I didn't really make a lot of great points. I sort of sped through it, and also my mic sucked. But I got a better mic. Uh, I have notes here that I'll be going over, so I'll have actual reasons for putting the bosses where I do. And also my opinions have changed since the last video. So maybe this time I won't get one dislike on it. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. First up, King Slime. He is a very funny design. Uh, I like, I just like him. He's cool, but he's really easy. And he's not really worth it. Like, none of his drops are really great. I mean, I guess the mount, the slime mount is cool. But, yeah. So, for that reason, I'm going to have to put him in E. Um, next up, I have Cthulhu. Very iconic. Like, yeah, very iconic design. He's usually the first boss people fight, you know, with the um, evil presence watching you. That little thing you get. That, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the Shield of Cthulhu is a great drop. Early game dash, very useful for mobility. And Demonite, I mean, Demonite is required for progression, so yeah. Uh, so I'm going to put him in A. Also, this uh, boss one, that soundtrack is good. The whole, the whole game's soundtrack is good. Uh, Brain of Cthulhu. I forgot to put notes for him, but I am going to put him in D. Because he's a gross brain. He's a gross design. He's... I mean, I guess he's he's really easy. Um, I mean, the Boss 3 soundtrack is really good. But, I mean, I hate... I don't like his design. I don't like his fight. It's not very fun. And I don't... I like the Corruption more than I like the Crimson. So, yeah, he's in D. Eater of Worlds very another iconic fight it's a unique fight too with the segments and you don't want to split them off right um let's see he his drops are pretty good the shadow scales required for progression again and the shadow orbs do give uh good stuff for like early game so for that reason i am going to put him also in a uh queen b i don't have notes for her either but she is a, I guess she's a fun fight, but she's also really difficult if you're not good at timing your dodges. Her drops are very good, very useful. The B gun just shreds Skeletron. Uh, B nades shred the wall of flesh. Really, the beekeeper is also required for Zenith. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna put her in B, yeah. Uh, Skeletron. Very, very good design. Very iconic also. Uh, he, uh, but his stun lock. He can stun lock you if you get caught in his spin attack. Um, if you don't have, if you don't take knockback, then yeah, you're just, you're just dead. So you gotta be good at dodging, but he's also kind of easy. But the dungeon's also really good for loot. So I'm gonna put him in S. Uh, next up the wall of flesh. Oh boy. The Wall of Flesh is probably one of the most iconic bosses in the game. He has the best soundtrack in the game. Uh, he's only really hard in like master mode though, just because of his health and his damage output and the fact that he moves really fast as the fight progresses. He gets faster and faster as his health depletes, right? Um, but he's also the gateway into hard mode. So yeah, he's going at the top boys. Actually, no, I put him in S. Yeah, yeah, he's in S. Uh, Queen Slime. Queen Slime is one of the new fights. She's she's a really fun fight, don't get me wrong. Uh, she is sort of like hard mode King Slime, so she's not super difficult. But she does have that second phase. That second phase is cool with the wings. Uh, but most of the time I found myself dying to her minions and not, like, her. So that was annoying. But the armor she drops is good. 
I, I think it's like increased damage, the set bonus, I mean. She's not required for progression, so um, yeah, I, I'm going to put her in C. Now we're getting into the mech bosses. The Destroyer, he's very... He's very long. Um, <laughs> he's a lot more boring than the Eater, though, because, you know, the Eater can be really frantic if you have 30 of them all trying to kill you. But the Destroyer, it's more of the probes that will get in your way. The whole point, uh, you're supposed to take the fight slowly. That's what... I think that's what Red said. It was either Red or Senex that said it. But you're supposed to take the fight slowly... And take out all the probes and before you kill the eater or the eater the destroyer but i mean most of the time i just find myself spamming the whatever weapon i have just trying to take him out as quickly as possible but he's like definitely the easiest mech boss um souls of might i think yeah souls of might they're only used for the light discs and the light discs are not good um but I mean, the hallowed bars are good, but all the mech bosses drop that. But for that reason, those reasons, I'm going to put them in C. Now, the twins. The twins, they're going at the top. My opinion has not changed on them. They're still my favorite boss. They have the best soundtrack. They have the same soundtrack as the Wall of Flesh. Um, it's a hard fight, but it's not too, it's not impossibly hard. It's hard enough to where it's it's challenging. It's challenging. That's the right word. Uh, obviously, you're dealing with two bosses. Um, I like their dynamic. The uh, the cursed inferno is annoying to deal with. So you know, um, the optic staff that you can make from their drops. Very funny summon weapon. You get your own little twins, and I love boss themed items. I don't think I've mentioned that before. Boss themed items are some of my favorite items you can get. Um, so yeah, that's why I put them at the top there. Still my favorite boss. Skeletron Prime. He is pretty easy. I mean, he was easy for me. I beat him first try. His his gimmick is that he has more arms, but um, that he, he's kind of boring. <laughs> um. I don't remember what Souls of Fright are used for, other than the the pickaxe axe, but um, yeah, I just I think I just feel like the twins are the most useful of the mech bosses. I mean, I I've always found Prime kind of boring, so he's going in D. Plantera, all right, Plantera is the main boss that my opinion has changed on. Um. I did some time to think over it, and I realized that she's actually one of my favorite bosses now. Uh, one of the pets you can get from the zoologist that's based on her, best pet in the game, everyone go buy the mud bud, very funny, very worth it. Uh, she, she moves, she's, she's, she's moving, she just goes really fast, you know? Um, she's a very pretty flower. Flowers are pretty. I, 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 I've mentioned this, but I actually grew on her a lot more. And her theme is really good. That heavy metal guitar shred. It's like, it's like a nice um, juxtaposition. You're fighting this elegant flower, and there's just a shredding guitar in the background. I like that. So for that reason, she is going from, I think I put her in D tier last time. All the way up next to the twins there. Uh, Golem. My opinion on Golem has not changed. He's a stupid rock. He just punches you. Easier than King Slime. Seriously, he's the easiest boss in the game. I didn't even... After Plantera, immediately went to the dungeon and killed him. He's that easy. He's going to F. Actually, you know what? Golem. He, Golem is getting his own tier. Lunatic Cultist. Yeah, Lunatic Cultist. He's pretty easy, but his design is really cool. And, but the pillars suck. I'll get into that. He's the end game. Uh, yeah. He's a good boss to fight before pillars. Hey, this is uh, Future Patrick. And I forgot to mention that another thing I like about the Lunatic Cultist is that some of his attacks actually reflect 
some of the pillars. You know, there's one where he opens like a portal and a bunch of lightning shoots out. That's kind of like the vortex pillar. I think the like, there's one that where like, he shoots like a spinning crystal star looking thing. I think that's supposed to look like the Stardust Pillar, and uh, that's all I can think of. I'm sure he has more than this, just those two attacks, but you know. Uh, I guess the Phantasmal Dragon kind of looks like the Stardust Dragon too. Uh, yeah, that's all I got, so back to the video. Okay, Empress of Light, really good boss theme, it's, a, it's different, it's a bullet hell, bullet hells are fun but I'm not good at them. I'm not good at dodging. So I've never fought Empress legitimately either, so I guess that could alter my opinion too. But I guess I'll put her in B next to the cultist there. Duke Fishron. My opinion on Duke Fishron has changed. I did not give a good reasoning as to why I hated him other than, oh, I fought him too much and I got bored of him. That's a really stupid reason to put him in E tier. Duke Fishron's design's really cool. Uh, I don't actually really care for the new soundtrack he has. I just don't think it fits him that well. Obviously, that's an opinion that people do not have. Um, he does have a fun fight and a unique fight. And I remember for a while, I kept hearing that he was the hardest boss in the game. I can see that. But I... Yeah, I mean, I struggled with him for a bit. But then when I learned his patterns and killed him... Then I, I just kept killing him. He wasn't that hard after I got used to him. I've not fought him in expert mode, though. I know he has the third phase where he teleports, you know. Anyway, uh, so I'm moving Duke Fishron to a, a B tier. He'll go, he'll go top of B tier. Why not? And then we'll move that around a little. Yeah. Um, all right. Now we're getting into the pillars. My opinion on the pillars hasn't changed either. Worst event in the game... I don't, I don't like the, you have to kill 50 enemies for each pillar to kill them. Um, but the weapons are good. I mean, that, that's all the, that's all you do the pillars for besides summoning Moon Lord. But, so I'm going to put them in Golem tier because I don't like them. Moon Lord. Moon Lord, I love this fight. I love Moon Lord. Great final boss. Um, he he doesn't despawn. The whole world is the arena. He'll just teleport to you using instant transmission or whatever. Um, he is literally Cthulhu. Just keep running. You just gotta keep running. Um, Luminite stuff. Or, like, you know, the stuff you can make with the fragments and luminite. It's the obviously the best stuff you can get. Um, uh, <laughs> here, I just put blank was killed by phantasmal death ray. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that message, right? Uh, his drops are really funny, too. I love the, the star wrath, one of my favorite weapons. And Meow Mir is obviously really funny, too. But... I mean, for a final boss, excellent final boss. Great job, Red, you did it. Uh, he's going in S tier. Um, all right, now we're getting into the event bosses. <laughs> um, all right, first up, the, uh, uh, what's it called? The e Eternia Crystal, the Old One's Army. Yeah, that's it. Old One's Army, Betsy. I mean, I like the, it's a dragon. Dragons are cool, right? Uh, I don't know what Dungeon Defenders is. I've never heard of it. I didn't even know that it the Old One's Army was based on another game until a couple months ago. Uh, I mean, my opinion hasn't changed that much. I think her drops are good. I don't know. I, I've only done the Old One's Army all the way through once, so I'm not really the guy to talk to if you want to know what that event is like, but... <laughs> purely based on her design she's going in C um alright dark mage um I th he only spawns enemies he's pretty easy because of that um the book mount is good I think cause you can get it at the start of the game 
Uh, that's about it. He's kind of bland. He's going in D tier. Uh, Ogre. I mean, he he's got he's definitely got, I my favorite design out of the old ones army bosses. Uh, he has the best looking master mode pet too. Best master mode drop. Uh, he can be difficult if they're because he moves really slowly, and he's really tanky. So if you focus on him, then a, a bunch of enemies will attack the crystal, right? So, uh, I, yeah, I do like his pet too. Uh, he's going in B tier, but the bottom of B tier. All right, that's all the old ones army bosses. All right, the flying Dutchman. I hate the pirates. <laughs> I hate the pirates so much. The Flying Dutchman only drops stuff in Master Mode. And the only drops he has are the Mount and the Relic. Now the Mount is the best Mount in the game. But that doesn't justify that he's a... That the Flying Dutchman is awful boss. Awful, awful boss. Um, I guess based on the Mount and I... He's going in C. No, no, I changed my mind. He's going in D. Um, alright, alright. Pumpkin Moon is next. So, Morningwood. I, I still like the Pumpkin Moon a lot. The Morningwood. Very funny name. Again, not gonna bring it up as to why his name is funny. If you know, you know. Um, I like the tree design. Very spooky, funny. Um... His drops are good, but only if he wants to drop them, because the drop rates for the Pumpkin Moon boss, or any of the event bosses, really are stupid. Ooh. Um, so, I do like his design, too. Uh, he's going in B. Like, there, I guess. Yeah. Um, Pumpkin, still one of my favorite bosses. Still one of my favorite designs. Uh, the light pet in master mode is my is now my favorite pet in the game besides the little plantero obviously um, so he's going at the very bottom of double s uh, let's see now we are moving on to the frost moon bosses now starting with everscreen <laughs> it's another pun name but this time it's a pun on evergreen so I can talk about why it's funny evergreen ever scream get the joke um i love his design he's a funny tree laugh at him i like his master mode pet too how it's just a smaller version of the ever scream but it doesn't have arms uh so he's going in at the top of a now the ice queen i don't care about the ice queen i think her drops are good but i don't really care about her design and, but the Frost Moon has a really good soundtrack, so I don't hate the Frost Moon anymore. I just don't like it as much. Alright, she's going at the very bottom of C. Martian Saucer. Oh wait, no, Sand Tank. I forget about this boss all the time, because the Pumpkin Moon only has two bosses. So there's no f Pumpkin Moon counterpart to Sand Tank. Um, the Tank Mount's cool, but I don't remember what he drops. So he's going at the very top of D. So I guess he can go in C or D. I don't really care. Uh, the Martian Saucer. Now it's time for Martian Saucer. I still hate the Martians, but my opinion has slightly changed. Oh, uh, the Influx Waver is good as a really good weapon. I think it's better than the Terra Blade. Don't quote me on that. I I have been very wrong in the past with previous statements. But, um, he's gotten better in 1.4 because he doesn't have Moon Lord lasers anymore. But also the Martians are required for Zenith, which is stupid because Martians are bad. So he's going at the very, the very bottom of C. All right. On the final, final boss that we're doing in this tier list, I don't really consider it a boss. It's a mini boss, but oh well, it's on here. The Dreadnautilus. I forget this is in the game because I don't think I don't fish during the blood moon. But uh, as a great man once said, all if if a, if it has a fishing mini game, 
then it's automatically a good game. And Terraria does have fishing in it. But you can only get the Dread Nautilus by fishing during a Blood Moon. Uh, the design's good, the concept is good, but it's really easy to cheese. I think it's easy to cheese. I think I've seen people do it before. Um, I've never fought it legit either, just like the Empress, wherever she is. There she is. Um, I don't remember, I don't think he drops anything useful besides that one summoning weapon, the bat one. So if you're not playing summoner, then I guess this is just not worth it. So he's going there in D tier. All right. All right. This is the final, final tier list. Again, it's my opinion. So if you don't agree, you don't have to. This is just what I think of every boss in the game. So, uh, I'm glad I got to do this again because I really hate that first tier list video, but I'm going to leave it up because I, like, don't care that much. So, go ahead and I guess you can watch that if you want to see my previous opinions or if you just want to make fun of me. I don't care that much. So, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.